Apple is working on the next generation of its in-house M3 series silicon, which is scheduled to be released later this year. The M3 Ultra is at the top of this list, but according to Bloomberg, it may not be a significant boost over its predecessor in terms of graphics. According to the source, the M3 Ultra would be available in two variants. Both the base and top models will reportedly have a cluster of 32 CPU cores, with 24 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores to tackle less demanding tasks. Apple's M3 Ultra chip could have 32 CPU cores and GPU boost. In comparison, the M2 Ultra has 24 CPU cores, while the M1 Ultra has 20 CPU cores. That is a significant increase in computing power for Apple's next flagship desktop processor, which will most likely be found in the forthcoming Mac Studio and Mac Pro machines. Another significant advancement is the intrinsic fabrication technology used to create these circuits. The M3 generation will be built on TSMC's 3 nanometers node, which promises increased energy efficiency and firepower. However, according to Bloomberg, the first Macs equipped with the M3 Ultra processor will be available next year. On paper, the M3 Ultra's CPU increase is great, but it appears that the graphics section will only see a minor upgrade. A varied range of M3 Macs are being tested. According to reports, the base M3 Ultra configuration would have 64 GPU cores, while the top-end version will have 80 graphics cores. In comparison, the top-tier edition of the M2 Ultra has 76 GPU cores, while the M1 Ultra has up to 64 graphics cores. While the numbers may appear unimpressive, Apple has managed to set many performance milestones versus the competition, it is unknown whether the switch to M3 series silicon would result in an increase in peak unified memory capacity and bandwidth, which are currently 192GB and 800GB per second on the M2 Ultra. Apple is rumored to be testing Macs with the vanilla M3 silicon, as well as its Pro and Max variants, in addition to the M3 Ultra. The first batch of Macs featuring M3 silicon is expected to arrive later this year and will be used in the redesigned MacBook Air and iMac. The M3 Pro and M3 Max CPUs are slated to be used in the next-generation 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models, which are expected to be released next year. According to Bloomberg, the Mac Mini may strive for an M3 Pro version, while the Mac Studio may begin with the M3 Max Silicon. Apple is also claimed to be testing a new iMac, but it's unclear if this is an improvement to the M1-powered 24-inch iMac or the rumored 32-inch Pro version. So, there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe and click the notification bell for more tech news update. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.